Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I wanted to show you what I've been doing with the Dollar Tree Christmas trees. Um, as I've mentioned before, we can't really put up a full-size Christmas tree. Uh, my dad does not celebrate the holidays, and since we're in his house, you know, we kind of have to follow his rules. So, he does not like any of that stuff really in the house. We've just been doing small things. Um, so I got from Dollar Tree, I got a few of these small Christmas trees that they had. I don't, I don't think it has a size on here, like at all. No, it doesn't mention a size on here, so I'm not sure how tall they are. But what I've been doing is I've been combine, combining two of them together. And so I wanted to show you guys how I've been doing that. I have the green tree ready to go right here. Um, and I'm just going to show you with the white tree what I do. I did get some twist ties as well. So the first thing you got to do on the one tree is take this part off. You're only going to need one of them and I have it set up on the green tree. And then you also, you know, you're gonna put the legs on whichever one is you're gonna be your bottom tree. You just put the legs on like normal. So on the trees, you have to pull out all of the branches because they come folded up just like any normal Christmas tree and just work your way all the way around pulling and tugging where you need them and usually you can see like there's always one spot kind of that's a little empty but that's okay because we actually want that because you need to have room to stick the other tree. So I'm just gonna pull all of these out, get them all turned and twisted and, sorry, I'm hitting the thing. Okay, we're just gonna get them turned and I like to kind of keep the open side all on the kind of the same side so I will move the branches until I can get it that way and we've already got two of them set up um, the uh, there's one in two of my sons share a bedroom and they have one in their room um, they haven't decorated it yet, though. They're <laughs> they've, they've just had it in the room. <laughs> I don't know if he's I don't know if he plans on decorating it or not. But um, then the other one is in here, and my daughter decorated a little bit, not very much. Um, I think she likes kind of minimal on there. So yeah, and then this one will be going into my oldest son's room once it's done and he's been asking for it and I'm like oh I'll, I'll, I'll do it today I'll do it today so just gotta get this done okay and then the last one here I just stick straight up because it, it's like the top of the tree so I kind of just stick it straight up in the air so that it goes okay and now we've got the open spots mostly let's see let's fix this a little bit we've got them mostly on the same side that's what it is I put that on the wrong side okay so we're gonna fix this I was putting the open side on different sides for some reason okay so the reason I leave it open on there you can see you can see it kind of more that way like 
it's got an open spot right there. So the reason we do that is because when you put it together with the other tree, you want the poles to sit side by side as much as possible. Now, you're gonna have to kind of play with it a little bit to get it the way you want. And then I take the twist ties and I used white because I had uh, white trees um, mostly. So I just take the twist ties and I'll try to push the stuff out of the way. Oh, wrong way. Let me flip it over. Okay, there we go. And then I just pull it as tight as I can on there and then cut it off, cut off the end. And I'm gonna see if this, I, I brought this out just to see if it would work better than my scissors and it does. It works pretty good. Okay, so we've got one and I like to do like three or four of the twist ties just so it sticks together. This one you'll be able to see and I just tighten it as much as I can on there just so it sticks together. And then go ahead and clip it off. And I know this probably is not the right tool, but the scissors I have right now, I don't wanna break them, cause you know, they are new scissors. <laughs> so, all right, and I'm gonna put one more here, and then I think it'll be good. So let's see, where did I, and there they are. All right, so we're gonna get one more on this tree. They always flip over whenever I put them on. All right. And again, just pull it tight and cut off the excess. And be careful because like I've gotten really close to cutting some of the branches before. So just be careful when you're doing it. There we go. Okay. So now it is standing up just fine. Um, this stuff comes loose off the bottom of the one. You can put fray check on it or something to make it stick. But once you have them all together, Sorry, I'm bumping it again, I swear. I had to move my camera to a different place. So, where is that? Okay. I'm trying to see what's going on. There's like, okay. So you basically just move these around until you get them, you know, fluffed out, moved where you want them to move, and kind of fill in the, um, the gaps, I guess. That goes up there. So when you pull them out, of course, you're going to have to pull, you know, on the other side of this pole just to kind of fill it. And you want, you know, you just kind of want like the branches to offset each other, I guess, is the word. And once you have it the way you want it, you can decorate it, you can put tinsel on it, you can put lights on it. 
uh, you can pretty much decorate it just like a regular Christmas tree. Um, you do, you know, of course, the ornaments have to be smaller. Um, the lights have to be, you know, less shorter because you don't want to, most uh, Christmas lights, you know, how long they are. You can't do that with this tree. I mean, a 12 foot set of lights is a bit much for this small of a tree. But the, the little sets that you can get at Dollar Tree, those are really good because they are short and they work perfectly for these trees. So I think I've almost got this fluffed enough. So let's see, let's get this part and then yeah, I just leave the top, I just leave the top like that um, because you know, they can, they can fold it over if they want. I kind of, I like to twist them together so that they stay upright and uh, yeah, so there we go. It is finished. Let's see. Let me try to bring up the camera a little bit. Okay. So you can see it's all intertwined in there and they will be able to decorate the tree how they want. So that is it. I just wanted to show you guys how I've been connecting the dollar store trees together. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.